Hello guys, welcome to Pro Web Coder. Today I'm really excited to announce that one of my app is being approved by Shopify and I've been working on this app for past two months and I'm really excited and I just want to show it to you what is this app all about. So without wasting any time, let's head back to the app which is being approved. So the name of the app is PwC Customer Accounts and Pages. As the name suggests, the app basically creates a dashboard for customer, which would work on the legacy accounts and also does have the login designs, different login designs, plus sign up designs, and also a very uh, uh, customizable backend. And uh, people can choose from a variety of layouts. And also there is a wish list feature available in the, the in the app itself so let's see how the backend looks the backend basically is very simple i've kept it very simple there are diff different uh, tutorials video tutorials which are being provided so that it's easier for people to set it set it up and use it independently without the use of any developer but in case if there is any need for a developer they can simply send us a message over here so this is the front end and let's see the inner pages the inner pages uh, uh, consists of account page login page sign up page wish list settings and plans how the back how the front end looks the front end basically looks somewhat like this so in this you see um, we have different options over here like uh, it gives the order count etc uh, the name uh, we have uh, a very good interface for a profile people can edit their profile and also add their gender or birth date that is an optional feature which is being provided by me so and the address is also given a very good interface Plus, if you check the orders, the orders are also given a very good interface in which people can track their order, which would be a, an external URL they can put. And they can download the invoice of the uh, of the overall uh, order itself. They can view the order. They can also see the order status that goes to the order status URL. And also, in certain cases, if they want to return this product or if they want to cancel this product they can do that from over here so it's a, a very simple interface which is being created it looks and it does have a wish list feature as the name suggests so let's see uh, what the backend looks like the backend is basically very simple you can choose uh, different layouts so each layout has a preview been provided so that it's easier for customers to select the layout which they want to choose the current layout which is uh, being used is four we can skip to uh, any any of the layout we want so we can use the second layout or third layout or fourth layout depending upon the requirements so i've used uh, the fourth layout just because i really like this and i worked on it a lot so that's my personal pr preference depends from customer to customer and then uh, people have a uh, test notice over here. Pe people can uh, r write some announcement or the customer can write some uh, announcement over here and uh, even hide the announcement if uh, that's, uh, that's, that's not uh, required for the customer. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of other options being provided in the, in, in, in the in the accounts page the login page does have again four designs people can choose from various designs so the the, the various design it's very simple and uh, it's a, a theme app extension which has been created plus it uses uh, app proxy to uh, to connect with the backend so yeah the login page uh, looks somewhat like this so let's see okay 
let's see so it's kind of loading for me i'm just waiting for it to load but yeah the the overall interface uh if you if you see uh the the wish list wish list feature works pretty fine people can choose from the wish list they want so for example i want to choose another wish list uh i want to use uh probably a diamond in this case or a pause if a person want to use a custom icon they have uh, the option to choose a custom icon and we can install them from uh install it for them people can use uh or change the icon icon stroke size and icon width depending upon whatever they uh, need the width of the icon or you know the, the overall width of this icon to match their uh, icons at the top so that's an option given already so uh, and overall documentation is being provided so that it's easier for people to choose so i've used diamond so you you see the diamond has come up all over here so it's very simple and uh, all all other pages in a pages like sign up page or login page or any other page does have a, a, a proper interface being provided and people can simply use uh, or, or choose from the layouts they want so i would uh, recommend if you want to try this app you can try this app for you i'm also uh, opening up a uh, referral uh, referral account soon and uh, i would uh, paste the link in, in in the description below so that for every referral you get uh, some commission uh, on on you know if, if you want to earn something out of this app and also i would be uh, launching uh, uh, another tutorial set of tutorials in which i would be uh, covering a lot more uh, of how uh, i created this app and i would also be creating some paid tutorials if you would like to go with those paid tutorials in which i would cover every single step i covered uh, to create an app or uh, you know every single uh, uh, code step which uh, which was being re uh, required to uh, create the app so if you want that paid tutorial just send me a message on my email or probably uh, send it on uh, the the comments below uh, so that you know i can launch the tutorial as soon as possible so uh, you see the sign up sign in does have four page uh, four layouts we can choose from any of these layouts and uh, that's a uh, that's for uh, the login page so if we if we see uh, i'll just si sign out and let's see the login page how it looks like so at the moment it's like this i'm just going to change it uh, to the one which we had earlier so that it's easier So I change the theme and uh, let's go and refresh and that's how it looks for uh, the layout the login layout you see it's very professional and uh, we have a, a, a professional layout over here and people can simply log in and they'll see a very good looking backend and yeah that's it probably uh, if you want me to create tutorials uh, of how to create these apps i would love to do that also uh, some of uh, basic tutorials would be there in youtube but there are some premium tutorials which i would be creating specifically for uh, advanced level app development so uh, if you want you can join my uh, community in youtube and uh, I can you know from there on i i can create different tutorials so yeah so thank you so much guys and have a nice day